With Haiti having been taken over by gangs and roaming bands of cannibals, I wanted to take you all back to a time when Trump sent the entire media into hysteric fits of outrage by simply asking the question, why are we taking all of these immigrants from so-called shithole countries like Haiti? When talk turned to Haiti and countries in Africa at that meeting, he apparently said, this is a quote, why are we having all these people from shithole countries come here? We offered Haitians their own version of Make America Great Again hats. It's a hat that says Haiti is great already. We offered it to them and they were quite happy to have it. A human. <laughs> the president of the United States is racist. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I'm saying I'm a racist. Are you getting that part? I don't think, I think it was taken out of context. I'm not sure. How many examples do you need of this? It just shows that, uh, you know, the, the president has racist views. But the president seems to harbor racist uh, feelings about people of color. What is he even talking about? Trump never even brought race up. But as we well know, this is their typical strategy for silencing dissent, which we now know was true. If this is not a president in the early stages of dementia, uninformed, uneducated, ignorant response. Plenty of others have something to say about Donald Trump's crude remarks about immigrants. Some suggesting parents hit the mute button if children are watching too. Jesus. The White House has not denied these words. In fact, here's what a deputy White House press secretary said. Certain Washington politicians choose to fight for foreign countries, but President Trump will always fight for the American people. No, 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 no. I mean, this was disgraceful. It was disturbing. It was vulgar. It was alarming in every way. Well, it was also true, and Trump was right. I'm a proud shitholer. <laughs> the president is growing this country on the backbone of bigotry that comes from when I saw my family called Spicks, Wops, and Mackerel Eaters. Slant eyes, Spicks, and Wetbacks. <laughs> and he offered an alternative. He thinks the United States should instead bring more people from countries like Norway. Oh my God! Again, it's so strange because Trump never said anything about race, much less used any slur whatsoever. Unlike this apparent CNN racial slur expert who listed off most of them. And as we all know by now, that's what this is all about. Shutting down questions by calling the people asking them racist monsters. Trump's questions had nothing to do with race and everything to do with the stability of those countries. Since Biden took over and got rid of all the protections that Trump put in, there's been over 8 million people to illegally enter the country from all over, including Iran and China, which dwarfs our all-time Norwegian population, which is around 4.5 million. Trump says things brashly and off the top of his head, which actually cuts through the BS. Unlike the Democrats and the left who hide the truth in deceptive Orwellian language. Trump was right, but they just cannot allow reality to stop their plans to swell this country with dependents who will count on the Democrats to get what they need and therefore be dependable voters, thereby giving Democrats permanent control. An unrelenting stream of immigration, nonstop, fewer than 50% of the people in America from then and on will be white European stuff. White people will be replaced as the majority of the people in the country. That's not racist to say that, just is just a fact. The question becomes, why are you so upset about that. The census that just came out especially drives home the point that Texas is next. It's a state where the demographics are changing in ways that are favorable to the Democratic Party. Demographic changes that help the Democrats. Democrats for a decade now, along with Arizona and Texas, have had on this sort of long-term project of, of trying to take uh, some red states across the Sun Belt and flip them blue as demographic changes are taking place. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're still here, might as well hit that like button which really helps this channel thanks a lot for watching and make sure to keep checking back for more